Hey everybody, what's up? This is Taco Scratch, kind of currently working on a robot. Uh, make sure you check out the Selene S7 Transformer video, that's my other robot. This one's going to be a lot more detailed. Right now you're seeing some concept sketches that I did. I'm not the best at drawing, but I do know the, the fundamentals. Um, and as you can see, these are the two that, I'm, that I want to work on. And more of a detailed sketch on the first one on the left. Has going to have a little gun on his left, as his le a left arm. Um, there's the foot. Um, there's the foot a little more detailed. And as you watch this video, you're going to see I'm progressively adding more and more details and more and more parts to this um, robot. Uh, the main thing is I want the robot to feel kind of intimidating. And that's the thing, that's why I did the sketch first. Whenever you do stuff like this, you always want to do like a, a rough sketch or something so you have some kind of direction to move on the, on the thing. Um, I don't really like, I've tried it, and I don't really like building stuff in 3D from scratch and doing it out of my head because it just never comes out right. But if I take the time to sketch it out, then I can add, you know, more details later. As you can see, the foot is getting more detailed. And uh, a lot of these details, you don't even see those in the drawing. But this, that's how you know the drawing is kind of like a guideline. Or it is for me. I don't know how other 3D artists like to do it. But oh, there goes the uh, hip joint. Um, uh, you know, I'm just trying to really match this thing up to the drawing. There's some things I had to scale down at this point. Um, because the leg, the upper thigh was getting too big. I scaled it down. Um, angled it forward more um, the thing needs to look like it's balanced I didn't use pistons as like because I know most people use like the hydraulic looking parts and stuff for their robots and that's cool I might I'm gonna just minimally use that um, I just want it to look more mechanical and uh, just look like it works not so much with hydraulics there goes the spine right there and now this is this video is part one um, there's gonna be another update that I'm gonna make um, with which is gonna show part two where I'm gonna have the whole upper torso completed and then it'll probably be another one now this I just mirrored it over so you can see what the legs are gonna look like together um, it looks very balanced look like looks like it can actually stand the feet are nice and big so the robot feels stable um, over here we added a few more extra details see the feet the foot is looking really nice um, we don't have all those details on the upper leg yet or in the chest or anything but we're just still kind of blocking everything out and um, but overall the goal is to uh, get it to look kind of like this you know that's my guideline and and that's what, I, what I'm going by as I make it so uh, watch for the next video and uh, um, let me know what you think